Thank you, China. With your help, I will make my enemy pay in blood. Sure, no problem. By the way, who is your enemy? Iraq, why do you ask? Thank you, China. With your help, I will make those wicked Iranians pay in blood. Oh, yes, they pay really well. What? What? China's playing both sides here, so they always come out on top. That's how they never lose. The Cold War has ended, and communism has fallen in Europe. What does your country do? Option one, break up in a peaceful way, i.e. Czechoslovakia. Option two, break up in the most cruel way possible. Thanks for that, Yugoslavia. Option three, do the biggest breakup imaginable. Or four, don't make a breakup, but unify. I'm so happy we're not like them. Want to live peacefully? Ja, ja. Now prepare to be Auschlist. I hope it will not be painful. Oh, East Germany, I think it will be. And you're gonna love every second of it. Say, India, I've always wondered, what's the significance behind your flag? Well, it's many simple. The orange symbolizes Hindus. The green symbolizes Muslims. And the white is the peace between them. What a coincidence. On my flag, the orange symbolizes the Protestants. The green, the Catholics. And the white, the peace between them. Oh, would you look at that? It's time for tea. I, I must bid you all farewell. Uh, something tells me the British are responsible for a lot of issues that these two countries had. I think it is best for them to just kind of move away. Iraq circa 2003. I'm just so glad to fight for democracy, says Australia. Democracy? Hmm. Democracy? Property of the new British Empire. Apparently no one informed Australia the uh, real intentions there. It's very innocent of them. Look at America. How does someone live like that? So unhealthy. I can't imagine being that unhealthy. Yeah. Cannot imagine not focused on health. Germany looks back at another little ball. You want more Nutella? Yeah, yeah. More bite, please. Poland's over here being an alcoholic and uh, France is just smoking away their lungs. We all have our own vices. Here in America, we just prefer to clog our arteries. How to revive a social democratic party. A. Move left. B. Move right. C. Team up. The Netherlands and the French both fusing with each other. Or D. Everyone else is crap. This makes me think that social democracy probably isn't doing that well in Europe currently. Well, something like that. Oh, crap. I gang 300 pounds. But it says 600 on the scale, America. You say that like it's a bad thing. Pounds in the US, very different than pounds in the UK. Same situation would work in a universe where everyone loses all their pounds. The US would be elated because they'd be looking hot and the UK would be probably throwing themselves off a building. Sir, we've finished the new tank. Good. Now have y'all engineer boys come up with a new name yet? Something that screams America? Well, I was gonna name it after that one general that burned all those cities down. That's my boy. The new model of pen Panzer is ready. Which third model? Name Panzer III. <laughs> Wonderful. Sir, Watashi have idea for tank name. You know, Imperial Year 2597, yes? What if name is type and then last two digits of year tank was made? It's genius, yes. Little piece of paper that says type 97. Watashi hate this job. Oh no, all the other former types on him. Naming tanks is just so difficult. And don't all British tanks just start with the letter C? I don't think anyone knows good names around here. Poland need monies. As France and Germany go into the rich club should ask how to get monies. Saudi Arabia goes in as well. Hello, Poland, why are you here? Just wondering how you all so much rich. Greece is literally just a servant right here. You see, Poland, I have many industry to get lots of euros. Infidel, Poland, I have many oil and cheap labor. Poland, I got rich with, wait, Wait, Sweden, don't. That's no-no Germany. International cooperation. Ah, so that's what you call it. Negotiating with the enemy, I see. That's a great way to put it, though. I thought it was going on with China, Taiwan, and Japan back here. Kind of afraid. France, once again, being unhealthy. I see you go for the easier target first. You know why I'm here. Name your price. It's not that simple. I have responsibilities to Europe. Now you put all our work in peril. I'm not doing such thing. You always knew this. We craved it for decades. Decades. I counted on you. Allies shouldn't stand between us. Germany, even if I am not afraid of you, others still are. Eastern Bloc is die. With unified, Europe would change in your favor. And what? You believe we invade again? I thought I proved enough in the last 40 years. You think all this time I lied about change? Or can you only stand me when I'm weaker than you? I thought what we none none not that this has changed you into someone i don't know after the war i worked so hard to lead europe to something better again but if you reunite I cannot lead anymore. Losing influence is terrifying enough, but I not know you other half at all. What if you not want to stay with us? I not want to lose you too. I'm not going anywhere. We still be same country, and you is too important to me. Nothing's gonna change that. You is important to me too. Is there anything I could do to reassure you? We. Oui but you won't like it. Your currency, kill it. Join monetary union with me. Ah, this again. All right, if it means so much to you. Um, 
Nice to meet you. We will chat later. Now still someone else to convince. I hope you two know what you're doing. Now go before I change my mind. West Germany and East Germany walk away. Don't worry, I'll help. Am no, but how do this? What would they even want? Such glorious offer. Oh no. Was the Soviet Union listening the whole time? Hiding behind this collapsing Berlin Wall. Hello, we have come to negotiate. And if I'm not interested, I doubt that. You need all the favors you can buy right now. Oh, there's literally blood in the background. Oh, really? Really? And how would you know? Know your place. Listen to me! You are dissolved. Cold War is lost. I want help, but I'm weak. West Germany sweats. <laughs> this is like a movie. But after Unite, others will listen to me. I can help you if you let me. You cannot help me if there's nothing left of you. For them, you just fail. You're going to die. And you don't care. Come with us. Why not get along with everyone? They will never accept me. They accept you, but not me. Soon you will be annexed. Forget you ever know me. Sure. You know how easy Annex Clay forgets things? Please, we just want normal relations. Can't we make up and work together for peace? Is that possible? This is outrageous. We have to stop them. I'll never agree to this, says Britain. All right, shut up and listen. Relax. You know perfectly well the other two will never let this happen. Imagine if we say yes and they don't. They will look like petty, vindictive idiots. Hilarious. So we play good allies, earn Germany's goodwill, and they stay divided anyway. Win-win. What a historic moment. How heartless could one be to stand in the way of freedom? Cut to France and the Soviets somehow working together. I think they have money or something. The UK and the USA just in shock. Oh, I guess this is not a part of the USA's plan, but they're just going to go with it. Yeah, that's right. You better freaking know what's good for you. I actually didn't know at all how Germany unified the way they did. So East Germany and West Germany just both bribed their homies, France and the USSR, and that's how the deal got done. Oh, I guess this was also made because it was just recently German Reunification Day. Russia, why do you forbid foreign music? Mongolia over here, I'm assuming throat singing. I have to. I guess this is actually referring to a German band dressed as Mongolia. Oh, I can see the Germans back behind it. This is a mask, and they're singing a Russian song. Oh, that's the song. Yeah, I've heard this several times. Can't blame them. It, it is a little strange. The USA and the Soviets cutting up no-no Germany. Oh, this is like a prequel to the last one. Both takes one side each. Looks over at a dead Japan, but a united Korea. Oh, no. And the same thing has happened. Why? That is pretty random when you put it like that. I mean, no-no Germany was our enemy, and then Korea was kind of just there. Pretty depressing to think that they were subjugated for decades under imperial Japanese rule. They were probably really, really excited for a second there, and then all of a sudden they're getting sawed up? Like, how does that work? History is a weird thing. A day in the life of a hard-working Montenegro. It's about to be 12 o'clock noon, I'm assuming. Yep, there goes the alarm. Gets out of bed. Five minutes later, I see. Goes to sleep on the chair. Goes and gets a little bit of coffee. Remembers their long-lost relative. And proceeds to work. Cruising on by some of their homies. Watch those Bosnian mines. And they've made it to the building. Looks at paperwork with their number one mountain mug. Of course, begins to fall asleep. Oh no, I think Serbia is not gonna like this. Oh wait, it was all just a dream. What a nightmare. Absolutely terrible. Now go back to sleeping. I guess a lot of people in this country joke around themselves about being lazy. Here are the Ten Commandments. Man was born tired and he lives to rest. Love you bed as you love yourself. Do not work, work kills. I like this one the most though. If by chance you wish to work, sit, wait, you will see, it will pass. I like the way this country thinks. Greetings. I may have attempt, sir, with cheap paw of monkey. Why would I want old paw of monkey, says Hungary to Romania. It grants wishes, but is only one wish left inside, so you are buying it for a big discount. Hungary thinks about the good old days when they were nice and strong. I'll buy. Excellent, but beware, using the paw of a monkey might having... I'm making wish for pre this borders. Hungry, you didn't let Romania finish. Here are their current modern day borders though. And here they are slowly evolving like a Pokemon. Luckily, no one pressed B. The transition is complete. Poopy side effectings. Oh no. Oh, they actually were made smaller. I didn't realize that. They, they thought they were getting bigger, but Hungry now just was made even tinier. These borders do look just like old Hungry though. I guess this comic has a reference to this, a small are hungry. Are you getting confused by stupid dialects? Are you really fed up with traveling hours in your own country? Who wants to remember so many needless county capitals? Good old propaganda to get tinier. It works every time. The Battle on Ice in 1242 versus the Battle on Ice in 2018. The more things change, the more things stay exactly the same. It's eternal rivalry, I guess. This is the Livonian Order versus the Novgorod Republic. Very different versions of these, but one day they'd be big and strong. I guess this Battle on Ice represents a significant defeat for the Catholics during the Northern Crusades? 
I didn't know about the Northern Crusades. Or maybe I did, I just didn't know it was called that. Ah, or the Baltic Crusades. British removes native rights, says Malaysia. The Dutch exploits our lands and people. They deserve to rot. Japan murdered my poor citizens, never forgiving them. As both balls around Singapore agree. Fun time is over. They all have to go out and do their own things now. Ah, just in time. Japan, the UK, the Netherlands all show up. I'd like to open a burger place. May I make economic cooperations with you? Watashi opening factory. So they out here pretending to be one way around some friends and then a completely different way around others. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, Singapore. Estonia is loving this smoked salmon, Norway. How did you get this tasting so good? Do it or I'll kill your children too. What? You got the salmon to smoke? And Denmark's over here just really confused, I guess. Uh, yeah, aren't? We all. But I think the salmon's lungs are the first thing that goes. That's how it doesn't make it. Attention, my autonomous republics. I remind you that Russian is the official language of communication. You can be speak your own native language in your spare time, but Russian must be the only language you speak in public. Attention, ethnic minority. From now on, Ukraine is the official language for communication in Ukraine. You may still be able to speak Russian in your own spare time, but Ukrainian is the official language of communication. This is oppression against Russian. You live in Tajikistan. You must speak Tajik. No. Oh, you live in Uzbek, and you must speak of Uzbek. I am not going to speak your dirty ass turkey language. <laughs> And I'm not going to speak your Persian ripoff language. From now on, I'm going to speak only to you in Russian because go frick yourself. And I will be speaking to you in Russian, you Persian dog. So I guess it all works out for Big Daddy Russia after all. Letting people fight amongst each other between their own languages is a pretty smart way to do it. I guess this is very common for Central Asian countries. Italy, you look really weird today. What's happening? What do you mean, Germany? I am completely normal. You know I was Italic the whole time. Huh? Huh? Okay. What? Oh, they became Germanic. Ah, uh, I can definitely see this is German. So many metal bands use these types of fonts. Lights out, Kami. Oh no, we lose gunfight. Cut. Wait, I don't think I can say that. Rumble, rumble, rumble. How could you say that to minority? <laughs> That's racist. Yeah, I don't see how the USA can win a fight when they're kind of too busy fighting amongst themselves. A Mongolian riding whatever the hell this is, a camel or something through the desert. How beautiful this image is. Damn it, I hate you, horse. Hello, Mongol. How can I help you? I'm wishing my horse be poof. As you wishes. Poof. It worked. Cut to Turkmenistan with all their love of horses. Poof. Oh no. All their horses are gone too. Begins to sob uncontrollably. Uzbekistan says, oh dang, another day of sealess land. What? What's this? <gasps> it's it's back. So long, losers. The aerial sea returns. I'm not gonna lie. This took me a long time to understand. I guess they cried so much that uh, the aerial sea came back in. Uzbekistan. A sea of tears, that's poetic. They must really love horses. Reform, says Czechoslovakia. USS responds with traditional communism. I have all the supporters in the East. Oh yeah? Well, I've got Romania. <laughs> Czechoslovakia never won. I guess that's their biggest fans. That's very wholesome. Brother, let's be together again, says South Korea to the North. No, frick you. Why, brother? Why are you not love me? Is this big enough for you, brother? Are you accept my love now? I always thought history revision was your thing. How is this supposed to make people like me more? But Tashi already like you that way brother. What? South Korea? Oh, uh, nothing. Oh, that. Oh, okay. It all makes sense now. Canada in their nice little ice cream cone. Canada now with an ice cream cone on their head. Now Canada's in a donut. Is this gonna have something to do with Tim Hortons? Well, that's one way to enjoy sweets, says Quebec. There is another way, too. This is for you. Aw, shucks. Is that the reason why Quebec doesn't leave Canada? Their love of sweets. That's perfect. Namaste, Sri Lanka. You ever time travel? I'm gonna show you how to do it, says India. It's working! Finally, India can into time Brrr. It's now the year 1202. Poof, poof. What is that? Says a terrifying Venice. Whoa, an exotic stranger. I would like to trade, my friend. Hey, look, we have similar flags. I need your help for some dealings. He, he, he. Now you will die, says Sri Lanka. Stop, please. Oh, they've destroyed Byzantium. This is all Venice needed the whole time. Sri Lanka to destroy Byzantium. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. I actually thought Sri Lanka was just going to turn into the old Venice flag. All they need is the legs. It's pretty much the exact same. And big thanks to the October patrons. Majestic Unicorn. Poppy Drew Woo. I love Marx. Drew's Thick Breaks and Girlfriend. Drew's Argentinian Grandpa. Aryan After Hours. Bring Back Poland Ball. Alfonso M6. Barnsky W. Dalton D. Fulsen Nick. Ivan Lima. Jesse C. Luxembourg Lover. Max Cooper. Nick Blorf. Mine Brothers 999X2. And Stormtrooper 501. Thank you.